Hello, this is Sam from Forum Labs, and in this video I want to show a pretty neat feature in a new software we have coming out uh, in Preform, which is called Preform Scan to Model. And this software's main purpose is to take raw uh, 3D intraoral scans, STL files, and uh, trim them and base them. So you can skip CAD for quick study or, or diagnostic models. And uh, another neat feature about this software is the ability to use it on built models to add um, a bevel or a, a plane cut. And um, this is really important uh, if you've ever watched any of my other videos or read any of my applications guides. You'll notice that I always recommend printing directly to the build platform. And sometimes that is a little bit difficult uh, when removing them from the build platform once they're printed. And a really easy way to make that process better is to add um, a, a chamfer on the back or, or the side or the front of the model, uh, a wedge point pretty much to get it off the build platform a lot easier and prevent breakage. And this new tool, you can actually do that on a built model. And of course you can do this in 3Shape and ExoCAD as well, but if you've got files already made from those softwares and say you've forgotten or um, you know, you're getting files from elsewhere and you need to add them uh, before printing, this is a really great way to do that. And so I have a short, uh, solid, restorative model here, just an upper, no articulator backing or anything like that, pretty simple. But the way this works is, and right now we're in external beta testing on this software, um, and we're about to start round three of external beta before its final release uh, very shortly. And, and so the UI and the way this actually works might be slightly different, but the functionality will be exactly the same in the end. Um, so please email dental at formlabs.com if you are interested in being in the next round of beta testing before it's released. But with that said, say I wanted to add uh, a, a chamfer on the back of this model to make it easier for myself uh, to remove it later. So I like to snap into a side view, so I'm using the arrows up here on the, on the top right, and pretty much orientate how parallel to the build platform how you want the cut plane to be uh, added. So what I mean by that is, so say, let's just say, um, again, it's it's parallel to the build platform, the plane cut. So let's just say I want to add, so if you could imagine this line going up, a plane cut like this. Um, you click into our scan to model software, which is a little tooth icon right now in its current state. And with its orientation already set, you just take your slicing or slider tool and you cut up as much as you want and you hit next and apply it. Uh, you can add a height to the cut as well, but in this use case, we're just gonna have that at zero because we don't want it adding any material. And so from there, it'll add that cut. And uh, something else that's really interesting here is you can also use this feature to shorten models as well. So if you kept it flat to the build platform, you can just trim a built model to make it a little bit shorter, saves material and reduces print time. Uh, but once this is done calculating, you'll notice that it's going to make that cut and snap that part back down to the build platform. So if I close this feature, I go back to my orientation tool, select base to make sure the base is snapped down, there you have it. So maybe a couple supports to make sure uh, this overhang is printed well, um, and this thing is ready to print, and now you have a nice wedge point to get this model off without breaking it, or greatly reduce the chance of breaking it or, or using any sort of uh, extreme measures to get this part off. So that's a really nice feature. And then one other thing I wanted to show is uh, it's also fantastic for um, adding that same sort of pry point, but then also uh, reducing cupping. So this is a hollow, just a study or a diagnostic model I have, and you'll notice that it is hollow. Um, hollow models typically without a mouse hole or, or a drain hole does have the potential to um, have cupping. What that pretty much means is it's like a plunger on a flat surface it, it wants to stick to the tank and not release when it prints. So it needs air to be able to flow in between those layers. Um, and this right now is a cup. And you can see Preform is alerting us to this cup. But again, the same tool that I just used on the previous model, we can add that uh, chamfer um, as well as remove any uh, possibility of uh, the cupping. So I'm gonna do this one at a little bit more of an angle and again, remember it's parallel to the build platform. Go into my, um, my scan to model mode. Take our slider in the second stage. Let's just say eh, something like that. With an angle like this, you probably don't even really have to support this. Uh, the Form 3B does a fantastic job on uh, printing overhangs. So 
this is really a, a little concern, and it has such a great foundation uh, to the model otherwise that it's really going to have no issue printing it, even if you didn't support that. But supporting it's always a good idea as well. So now that I've got my plane cut done, I'm going to select the base again, so the edge of the model, and there you have it. The cupping is now gone because you have air to be able to go into those parts, and hollow models especially have the tendency to, to want to be a bit more fragile because they're not solid, of course. And so this wedge point is going to be extremely useful uh, when, when actually removing these parts from the build platform after they're 3D printed. Um, so we're very, very excited about this feature and what this will allow our users to do and have that added flexibility. Again, uh, we're going to have one more uh, external beta program uh, where we're going to be adding a couple more things. If you want to be in that program, you're interested, uh, we are looking for new people to try and test it because a lot of the new enhancements will be around its uh, the UI and how you're actually using the features. Please email dental at formlabs.com and we're really, really excited um, in, in a very near term to release this publicly to all of our um, Form 3B and Form, uh, Form Labs Dental uh, users. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I hope you're as excited as I am about this feature. So this would be uh, pretty much ready to print. Maybe a couple supports there. Uh, good to go. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.